Well, hi there, Adam Bazalgette here, founder of Scratch Golf Academy. Today's subject, combating first tee nerves or jitters. Who among us hasn't had them? Some of us, hey, they have them every time they go to the first tee, but it's certainly worse in tournaments. So I'll give you some thoughts I think will be helpful. I've certainly worked through these in tournament play myself. Also share with you a story, my worst in my long career ever first tee story. Briefly, if you're new to the channel, would really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you do so, hit the bell there, be notified every time a new video is coming your way. And finally, Scratch Golf Academy app. It's free to you, lots of training tools. I know you'd enjoy it, it's free. Hope you'll pick that up at the App Store. Okay, first thing to remember, the physiology, what happens in your body when you experience a lot of fear or anxiety is, is affects your body the same whether the fear is real or not. So certainly someone chasing you with a loaded gun, that's a great reason to be afraid. Just feeling like I might look bad on the first tee, that's not really such a great reason. But if it's intense enough, you will get the same reactions and the fear anxiety type reaction is not one that's good for reproducing stable, consistent, finely tuned motor program. The second thing I would say in this segment you really, listen, people aren't paying that much attention to you. I've got to realize it. You should realize it. You're not Jack Nicholas, final tee of the 18th, you know, the, the Pebble Beach US Open. People are too busy with their own games to really worry that much about it. You So a little bit of perspective makes a lot of difference. Okay, how many times have you gone off, made a real hash of it on the first tee? whacked another one. Anyway, you've messed up the first few holes. By the third hole comes around, you're kind of relaxed again. Doesn't matter now so much. Your score's maybe not shot, but it's certainly out of sorts. All that energy's out of your body and you're just playing golf. They start to play well. Well, as we just said a few minutes ago, it doesn't necessarily matter what's real as to how the emotions affect your body. It's what you're feeling at the time. So you have to play make-believe. One of my thoughts when I was playing competitive golf, and this applied to putting as well as driving on the first tee, I always felt I did better in a slightly negative state. I hate to say that, but I felt I made more putts from six or seven feet if they were grinders to save par than if they were for birdies, let's say. So I would just pretend to myself, I'd say, Jesus, I was lining up, come on, mate, you cannot bogey this hole and all this sort of stuff. Grind it out, and I found I putted better. Same on the first tee, I just pretend I was on the third hole, giving myself a little bit of a lecture in a playful way about what a knucklehead I was for making so many mistakes in the first couple of holes. It helped, though. So play some make-believe games. Pretend you're on the third or the fourth hole. Maybe it works better for you to pretend great things are happening. Whatever works for you. Play some make-believe. Get away from that first tee experience. Okay, my worst tea, got two more tips for you, but my worst first tea experience ever, I'll quickly share that with you. Didn't actually happen to me specifically. Playing the Florida Mini Tours in the mid 1980s, working in Orlando, playing a tournament in Daytona Beach about an hour's drive away. Another young lad I've been practicing with is also playing, and we said, look, we've got very different tea times, but if we shoot about the same score on day one, We'll ride over there on, together on day two, save some gas, you know, hang out a little bit together. So he gets up there, or I play my morning round, I forget what I shot, I did okay. Got over to the first tee, he's just teeing off. There's about 40 people around the first tee, so he didn't see me, but I thought, well, I'll just quick watch him tee off. Fourth person to hit, out of bounds down the right, but not that close, a fairly easy hole, hits it out of bounds, has to go to his bag, get another ball, out of bounds again, goes to his bag. Now this has taken a minute or so, groaning of the 40 or 50 people around him. Third ball, out of bounds, and now he goes, gets a fourth ball, kind of a little squib toe hook into the left rough. I walked away, so I called him that night, of course he didn't know I'd seen it. I said, wow, you know, what'd you shoot? Can we play? He said, you won't believe it. You will not believe what happened to me on the first hole. I thought I will believe what had happened. He told me about the three out of bounds. He finally got out to the ball, he hooked into the rough, hit the wrong ball, two shot penalty, and wound up with a 13. So it's never gonna get much worse than that for you, I promise. Okay, very briefly, below this video is a link to my three-part gaining massive or 25-yard distance. One of my favorite courses. It's free to you. I hope you'll check that out when the video is over. Final two thoughts. Number one, routine and breathing. This is a big subject. We're not going to delve into it in any difficulty. Have you ever done public speaking and gotten a little tight? Who hasn't? can't breathe, can't get enough oxygen to loosen up. So big, deep, slow breaths through the nose. A good routine you can rely on. That certainly helps. The final one, honestly, 
hey, it's a game, you're not getting shot at here, so make a commitment, hey, I'm gonna try to do my make-believe to get myself in a good state, I'm gonna realize people aren't really, I'm not really on stage for the long run, whatever it is, all these thoughts, at least go at it with a bit of gusto, and if you mess it up then and you'll mess some up, you can live with it. I've hit so many shots in my life, I was so tight and so in my own way, then mess the shot up, predictably. Hard to live with that. Okay, let's see how we do. Reasonably good down the left side. Thanks for watching the video.